And worst of all was the cannonball, with its shrapnel bites making dead men fall. Then would come the bugle call, and we'd charge over the callous sprawl. Through the smoke, watch the wounded crawl, see the enemy and want to kill them all. But worst of all was the cannonball, it would cut down men like the scythe would fall. Then reload for the next rapport, with its shrapnel stings making dead men fall. Worse still for those of us that knew, that our families lived by making death that flew. Into the ranks of those wearing blue, cannons don't distinguish nation or hue. They simply point and destroy what they're pointing to. Those of us that came from towns, where the boundaries depended on aggressive crowd. We knew the enemy had boundaries too, worked and died for maps our kings redrew. Despite of all what our generals said, we saw no victory in not being dead. Because once we'd won, or had been beat down, we would return to our iron town. Find despite the fact we'd given all, we'd have no work without the need for cannonball. Then we would pray for a war for work to live, and in doing so, we'd be sure to give our sons the terrors of modern slaughter and make widows of our beloved daughters.